Hey everybody, Dark Jungle Link here, welcome back to our Let's Play Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap. In the last episode, we finished off a side quest where we returned library books, and now we can go talk to Elder Library. Let's do it. Ho 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 ho! Oh! A visitor after many long weeks? Even Jotari has been away so long. I've grown almost... lonely. But what is it? What do you need? Hmm? You want to visit the Temple of Droplets? Very well, you are the first such brave person in a long while. Stand on the clover in front of me. Alright, alright. You kids today. No patience for an old man. Well, just stand right there, like I told you. Whoa, ho, ho. now, open! Secret mystery panel! What? Oh, wasn't that fun. Now then, it's up to you to pass this trial safely and recover the item you require. Oh, what fun. I do love the real nitty-gritty of adventuring. Urk! Ow, ow, ow! I just smacked my hip on something! Well, not my hip, my... whatever it is I have now. My brim? Whatever. That old fool must just love sending people on dangerous missions. And how did that library get into the Temple of Droplets anyway? I guess the answer lies up ahead. Keep moving, boy. Okay, well, that was certainly interesting. I was going to talk about his house, which I will anyway, because his house is awesome. I would love it. Well, Link is freaking out a little bit. I would love to live in a book. I mean, you'd totally never be bored or anything. Like, you just read your walls. That actually just sounds horribly depressing. Like you're just in a night in and you have to just read your walls. But, unless it's a magic book where your walls just kind of automatically just change every day to a different book. That'd be okay with me. Anyway, so now I have to go do this uh, trial, which I may or may not have forgot was part of the game. But, that's okay. Because if I remembered, I totally would have, um... Whoa. I totally would have, uh... Traded kinstones, because I believe you can. Speaking of kinstones, I got another one. Now, these guys are like ants, and they kind of just shoot their pinchers at you. If you wait it out, you can either wait it out and then hit them, or you can hit them from behind like I did. You got the flippers! Press A to glide through the water and B to dive. <laughs> yes, yes, yes! Why it all makes sense now, doesn't it, boy? Library used these flippers to swim to the entrance of to the lake to the temple of droplets. So if you put these on, you should be able to swim too. Remarkable! Yes, as Ezla says, we can now swim. And swimming uh, oh, we can also dive. And I found some rupees, which is cool. Now this is one of my favorite things in the game, is uh, being able to swim. Even though you swim in like every other Zelda game, but... You know, it really helps a lot in this game. Plus you can dive and find secrets, but... I would look absolutely ridiculous if I kept... Diving to look for secrets. And you can't really get on anything until, like, you have to stand on one of these to get back up. You can't go on normally, which is kind of stupid, but, yeah, let's see. I think you have to ram into this, or not. Um, yeah, I don't think we can do anything with this yet, so we'll keep going. This part, like, this is part of the game that I don't remember, like, at all. It's been forever. Whoa. How did this... So, what I want to know is how... How he got his house, like, down in here. But, whatever. So, now we're back outside. Now we're small, which is kind of a nuisance. Because we need to actually go this way. And now we can go yell at this old man for 
putting us down a down a whatever even though he was helpful but even if someone helps you if they betray you in such a way you should never forgive them that's a horrible horrible lesson anyway this is a long miserable walk that one Picori at the bottom was gone I figured he says the same thing oh what do you say now oh so you passed the trial and returned with elder library's flippers I'm so jealous. I'm not much for exercise myself. But if you're going on an adventure, there's no one better to learn from. Ah, that elder library. He's so manly, so brave, and so full of fire! Okay. Well, let's just talk first. Well done indeed! Why, you're almost as spry as I was at that age. That's it? Okay, well, let's, let's see if we can trade Kenstone pieces, because why not? Oh, I think I just found one too, so... Awesome, let's see what happens. A gold rock appears, okay. At the Wind Ruins. Well, we'll go there eventually. Whenever I choose to go do all the Kenstone stuff, but... Until then, just fusing the Kenstone pieces help. Also, I'm sorry if my voice sounds a little weird in this episode. I'm just getting over a sickness, and I'm not really sure how I sound, but... Like, I feel a lot better, so it's not like it's really straining or anything. So... Now that we have the magical flippers of magical... Magicalness... Did I say... Yeah. The magical flippers of magicalness, we can progress. But first, I forgot I could run. Doesn't make things a lot faster now. We got that big wallet in the last episode, and I'm going to go to the store now because they have too many good things. Too many good things. Too many good things. Okay. We're gonna get the big bomb bag. Which is 600 rupees, which I don't have enough for. Never mind. Uh, what about the quiver? That's also 600. So, we'll keep that in mind. That there's a bigger quiver and a bigger bomb bag. Wait. Yeah. Which holds 60 rupees. I don't know why I actually walked in there, but I did. Um... I think we can go back in here and learn something new, not sure. Ah, yes, you have the Pegasus boots, and you seem to have more skill, too. Yes, I am ready to train you again. So, would you like to train here? Please do. Wait, what? Please do. That didn't make sense. Okay. You will now learn a technique, the dash attack. First, equip the Pegasus boots. Second, equip your sword. Third, run like crazy. That's all, young swordsman. Do you understand? I think so, yeah. Yes, yes, you are my finest student. Just equip your sword and the Pegasus boots to any button you like. But one must feel the technique, not just hear about it. That's why I will now possess your body so I can demonstrate the technique. This is the swift blade possession technique of training. Watch this. Ugh! po -ze -shun! Now, you must try it yourself. Equip the Pegasus boots and your sword, and then run like crazy. So basically, boom. You don't even have to push any other button, just the Pegasus boots. Yes, fine work, you learn quickly. I will now give you this tiger scroll. If you ever forget this technique, you can learn it again from this scroll. You'll learn the secret dash attack fighting technique. Run like the wind and attack. So it's... Now we can at least, uh, instead of running like that, we can just run into people. Like so. Well, never mind. <laughs> they, like, dodged me. Anyway, let's, uh, continue on here. Uh, I think we... No, we don't 
go this way. We have to go... Oh, duh. I need to do this. Alright, so we have to go to Lake Hylia. Which... I can't get out of this. Okay. Which, if I'm not mistaken, we can just equip our ocarina. And we will fly there. Yes. Okay, this was... No, no, it works, it works. And now we don't have to worry about... Wait, what's in here again? A dog. Rough, rough. Alright. No, wait, not just... Okay. Let's, uh... Let's talk to it. My master, Stockwell, has been coming home far too late to play with me. I'm so lonely. Aw, poor dog. Let's feud some kinstone pieces. Maybe that'll make you feel better. Never mind. Well, it's not my fault I don't have any kinstone pieces that match yours. I used it on... Unimportant person. But here I can demonstrate... Well, you've already seen swimming, but... We can swim anywhere now. No big deal. Uh-oh. Hi. Are you Mr. Fairy? Oh yes, look at these clothes. You've got to be him. I received some kinstone pieces from Tingle. He said I should try and fuse them with you, Mr. Fairy. So what do you think? Should we try to fuse? Obvious Dragon Ball Z reference is obvious, and why does everybody have this specific kinstone piece that I don't have? Oh hey. I can. Uh, can't. Get that, never mind. I was gonna say we can get this now, but no, we can't. Uh, now we have blue Octoroks, which are really no different than red Octoroks. They're just a little bit stronger. Uh, and the best ow, the best mes method for these are to just duck. And geez, there's so many. Oh no, now we got the piece of heart that we saw. And this here is, should be, by Hagen's house. Yeah, that little house thing right there, that's Hagen's place. So this is where we were last time. And if we go this way... Or not. What's in here? Uh... You have found the true the true master of Hyrule Waveblade. If you trade with me, I'll teach you things you've never seen. Hmm? It seems you're not ready to trade here. Come back when you have more, ten hearts. Three, six, seven, eight. Well, wait a minute. I walked right past this. I just walked right past this piece of heart. What am I doing? I really need to open my eyes. At least, at least I noticed it before you anyone in the comments had to say anything about it because I would have been I would have felt really stupid just then oh also one thing with the Pegasus boots you can uh, equip them you can equip them first and then you can just run through grass and just cut all the grass in your way it's a lot more effective sometimes when running through straight grass anyway so Enough getting sidetracked, if we if we go this way, here we have Oh. I probably should have pushed the button first. We have the Temple of Droplets. Brr, chatter chatter. I'm freezing in here. If you don't find that element quickly, I'm going to turn into a hatsicle. Hurry up, DYL! So yeah, here we have the Temple of Droplets. Easy as that. And first thing we start off with is ice puzzles. What? This floor is made out of ice! I just literally said that. Be careful not to fall and freeze your backside your backside into the floor, DYL. Yeah, oh. I didn't even have control there. Okay, so. Oh, for anyone who watched my uh, Pokemon Let's Play, you know how much I absolutely love ice puzzles. 
or strength puzzles or anything like that. They're fantastic. I forgot to check down first. Okay, yeah, that's just where the boss is already, so... We need to go... This way, maybe. Yeah, I hate, I hate ice physics. And, ah, okay, everything in this room is alive. Everything in this room is alive. All these squares make a circle, okay. And here we have a random light, which we can't do anything with. Maybe we'll come back later and figure out what to do with it. But until then, we will continue on. And now we have a lever. Which I need to push the right way. And this lever causes another one of these. Hey, the sunlight's shining through! Ah, it's so nice and warm, I can feel myself starting to defrost again! Which, I don't know how he can feel it from there, but whatever. And now, we just jump in here, and... I hope I hit that perfect. Okay, good. It looked like I went into the wrong area. Hmm, it looks like something is frozen inside this block of ice! Delilah, why don't you go take a look? Well, I hate, well, I hate how I don't have any, like whatever after he talks, but like I have no control after he talks, I just kind of slide everywhere. And yeah, here we have our basic uh, sliding puzzles, sliding strength puzzles in Pokemon. It's fun, it's fantastic, and I love them oh so much. Oh, you can open and close the hatch at will, I didn't, I didn't remember that. I just kind of accidentally walked into it, but that's cool. So this might come in handy later, or not. We might not even come back into this room. <laughs> and back to the ghost pots, which apparently I rolled right through. Jeez, oh. And now we have these blue guys, which you can just kind of toss them into a hole, and they're no longer our problem. I forgot I said that. Uh, we'll do that. And now we're back up here, which I'm not all too sure what that was supposed to do. <laughs> What, what was the point of opening and closing that? Uh-oh, okay. Sure. This is gonna be a fun puzzle. Ah! I'm sliding- ah! I'm sliding too much. Need traction. And I did not think that through. So, we're going to, uh... Well, first, we need to open this. That would make sense. Why do I have a feeling I'm going to be stuck on this puzzle for a while? Probably because I'm not good at these. That would explain it. So, first we're going to push this. And then we're going to push this. And then we'll push this. Uh, yeah. I'm probably doing this completely wrong, and I'm probably going to mess something up. But let's give this a try. Maybe. All right. Ah! I will not get used to these controls, especially with the... Uh, with a thumbstick and not a d-pad. That's probably also what's causing me to slip around so much. Uh, let's see here. Oh yeah, yeah, this, I got this. I totally got this, whoops. This should hit the, uh, switch. And then hit 
this. And boom. We got the big key already. And I need to shut that to get out of here. That's the point of shutting it to get out. And I keep forgetting I have the Pegasus boots and I can just run, so let's just run through this temple like it's nothing. Almost get hit. Almost. And deal with uh, some crappy ice puzzles again. Or er, crappy ice physics again. Wah! And we'll go in here. done DYL it looks like it looks to be the element all right but what do we do we can't even touch it while it's trapped in that ice we'll need to melt it off somehow and here's where we come to the meat of the dungeon which I think we'll tackle that is a ginormous Octorok cool but yeah, now that we're in the meat of the dungeon, I think we're gonna save this for next time. Uh, assuming it's not too far in. But, yeah, I'll, I'll save this part for next time. So, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode when we further explore the Temple of Droplets. See you guys then. Bye!